Hi, I'm Mike Alves again. So now we're going to do a five minute warm up. This is the guest day video warm up. Some of these exercises we do in class. We may or may not do them on the day that you're a guest, but this is a guest day warm up that you can use to prepare yourself for guest day, to use in between guest day and actually joining, or any time your body kind of feels off where you've had significant time between workouts and you just don't feel right and you, you want to get in shape to get in shape. So, warm up. Half kneeling, hands behind your head. You're going to rotate towards the front leg eight times. This is called a half kneeling trunk rotation. You've got your elbows wide. You've got your head pushed back. Switch legs. You've got your rib cage pulled down. Your front leg is in line with the front hip. So not cowboy style, not closed. Right in line with the front hip. Your butt is tucked. What that means is if, uh, don't stick it out, push it on you. That exercise work to lengthen your hips and to work on thoracic mobility. Now this is a glute activation exercise. Tuck your chin, ribs down, hands on your stomach, and tilt your butt up. So think about trying to bring your pubic bone to your ribs and your ribs to your pubic bone. Bridge, one, two, down. Bridge, two, two, down. Feet are flat. Feet are about shoulders width apart. We're going to do 20 reps. You should feel a stretch on the front of your hips, a squeeze in your butt. You should feel your abs brace or try to brace them on both ends. The reason I chose this exercise is when you sit a lot, your butt kind of goes numb and it turns off. You get what's known as glute amnesia. And if you are a sedentary person, you sit a lot, uh, you can get glute atrophy. The butt muscles turn off. Third exercise, please stand. This is a deep squat, so this is going to be um, large movement, sagittal plane, Arms overhead, reach, forward bend, so push your hips back, reach towards your feet. If you can't grab your feet, bend your knees until you can grab your feet. Deep squat, arms inside your legs, arms straight up, stand straight up. We're going to do eight. Forward bend, deep squat, arms straight up, stand straight up. Forward bend. Deep squat, arms straight up, stand straight up. That's three, forward bend, deep squat. See how my arms are inside of my legs and my hands are outside my feet? Deep squat, arms straight up, stand straight up. Four, five, six, seven, Okay, next we're going to work on lumbar stability. We already did the bridge, which worked on lumbar stability. We're going to do a side plank. So a side plank is in the frontal plank, or the side to side plank. We're going to do level one with your knees bent, elbow under your shoulder. You're going to bridge up. Now you might be able to do straight legs, you might be able to do one leg. Thank you, officer. <laughs> you could have gone around. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were going to use it. I'm sorry. I should have told you. Okay. Hand on your hip or hand overhead. So the reason for the bent knee versus the straight leg is the bent knee is going to target the glute medius, the side of the butt. Your head's pushed back, sticking your right chest out. And we're going to hold for 25 Mississippis. Let's say that was 10.
good. Okay, so that was one side. You know, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. I hope he comes back in so I can apologize. That wasn't very good. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Elbow under your shoulder, knees bent. So you might be able to do straight leg. And when we do the straight, uh, the, the strength workout, there'll be that option. But here, I want you to do the bent knee. Again, because it targets the glute medius and it really exposes the core. So 25 Mississippis. Freeze. You think we should delete it and do it over? 